Convert the vectors to magnitude and direction form. Round magnitudes to two places and angles to three places. So we're given three vectors. We're going to start with vector A. Vector A has an X component and a Y component. And the magnitude of any vector, okay, written like this, is going to be equal to the X component squared plus the Y component squared and then take the square root. Well, in the case of our vector, the X component is 3, the Y component is 5, so it's 3 squared plus 5 squared and then take the square root. Well, 3 squared is 9 and 5 squared is 25. Add those together and take the square root and you will find that the magnitude of vector A is equal to 5.831 uh, and they told us to give the magnitude to two places so we'll just do 5.83. The magnitude of vector A is 5.83. Then they ask us to find the angle. Similarly, uh, we can write this down real simple. The angle theta for any vector is the inverse tangent of the y component divided by the x component. And so, very simply, plug those in and find an angle. So the inverse tangent of the x, y component over the x component will be the inverse tangent of the y component here is 5 and the x component is 3. So it will be the inverse tangent of 5 thirds. And when we do that, we get 59.036 degrees. So the magnitude is 5.83 and the direction angle is 59.036 degrees. Part B, very similar. The only difference is, of course, we get a new vector, a different vector. And I want to point out something to you. In part A, uh, X is positive, Y is positive, and we know that this occurs in quadrant 1. And you wonder, well, why is that important? Well, it's going to become important in part B. Uh, X is negative, Y is positive. So that means you're going to go to the left and up, which is going to put us in quadrant 2. Okay, And that's going to become important in part B here. So in part B, we're going to start with magnitude. The magnitude of vector B is going to be, again, the square root of the X component, negative 15 squared, plus the Y component, 8 squared. And if I square negative 15, and then I square 8, and I add them together, then I take the square root. I get a magnitude of 17. Okay, so this vector, this component will be 17 units long, whether it's in meters or feet or miles per hour or whatever unit you happen to be working with. Now let's find theta. Theta is going to be the inverse tangent of the Y component over the X component. Okay, and if again, if I look at this, the y component is 8, the x component is negative 15. So this will be the inverse tangent of negative, uh, to be 8 divided by negative 15. So inverse tangent of 8 over negative 15. Well, when I do that, I get the answer negative 28.072 degrees. Here's the problem, folks. Where is negative 28.072 degrees? That is in quadrant 4. And it's very clear to me that this vector must be in quadrant 2. So what is this 28 degrees that we have? It's our reference angle. Now, if you have a reference angle of 28 degrees, how do you find your actual angle? Well, theta is going to be 180 
minus 28.072 degrees and that's going to give us an angle of 151.928 degrees. And that's important because we know from looking at the vector it has to be in quadrant 2, so you have to give a quadrant 2 angle. Part C, again, uh, it gets kind of repetitive, folks. If I ask you to find the magnitude of vector C, it's going to be the square root of the x component plus the x component squared plus the y component squared. And if I square 10 and I square negative 18, add that up and take the square root, I get 20.59 is the magnitude. Similarly, the direction angle will be the inverse tangent of the y component divided by the x component. So it'll be negative 18 over 10. And when I take that inverse tangent, I get negative 60.945 degrees. Now, 10, negative 18, you're going to go 10 to the right and 18 down. That is going to be quadrant 4. Negative 60.945 degrees is also quadrant 4. However, typically these angles are given in standard form, which means you start at the x-axis and rotate clockwise from 0 to 360. This is rotating counterclockwise because it's a negative angle. So how would you find theta in standard form. Well, quadrant four angles are always going to be 360 minus the reference angle, which is 60.945. So, if we do that, what do we come up with? 299.055 degrees. And in this case, these two angles, um, these two angles are coterminal. Okay, this angle and this angle are the exact same angle and they're 360 degrees apart, but this would be in standard form. So here is the magnitude and direction of three different vectors that began in component form.